everybody my name is swara and today we are going to learn some type of concept called the divisibility rule of 7 divisibility rule of the digit 7 so i have made the video on 2 3 5 6 now 7 was remaining i have made the video on it but i will explain you on a nice screen so let's see now over here i have written but you will see some steps now we don't give a specific definition to the divisibility rule of 7 we don't give a specific definition like for 5 if the number ends at 0 or 5 and even for 2 like that so we don't give a specific definition here we just we just give some steps for the divisibility rule of 7 got it so see over here divisibility rule of 7 is double see once again double the ones or the units place ones or the units place not any place but the last ending place now second step is sub Subtract the answer we got by repeating from the remaining left side numbers. Wait over here, I'm not going to. From the left side numbers. Now, as you will be not understanding this, I will approve it through some examples. I will give you six certain examples and four questions to solve. Okay. Next, check what we got. Check what we got from subtracting is divided with seven or not. Okay. So this some ticked features should be in your mind. Okay. I will explain you in my own way. Then we will solve some examples. See some examples. Okay. Now the first key point will be. Double the ones or the units place. So means repeat the ones or the units place. Repetition means to multiply it by two or add the same number twice. So the first point is that. Second point: subtract the answer we got by repeating from the remaining left side numbers. Now left side numbers means. See, we only took ones or the units place. So what you have to do is subtract the answer. What answer we got by double? Sorry, what the answer we got by repeating? What we have to do is we should subtract it from the remaining numbers or remaining numbers or the left side numbers. Okay, I described it in both the ways. Now the third definition is check what we got from subtracting is divided with seven or not. Now whatever we got by subtracting, you we should check is that number divisible by not or with seven or not. If it's not, so the whole complete number we got is not divisible by seven at all. Now let's see some examples through, and then we will understand these three features really quick. So. Let's see example one. Now our first number is two forty two. We have to check is this number two forty two completely divisible by seven or not? So how shall we check it? Just by doing one thing. So as the first rule was, double the ones or units place. Double the ones digit or the units place. Now see this is the ones place. Or the units place, or the last digit. Now this last digit, what we have to do is we have to repeat it. So it could be also two plus two is equals to four, or it could be two into four. But don't tell me that two it, two it. If there is three instead of this was three, so you should say three plus three. Or if you want to do it with Do itself. So what you have to do is you have to do this multiplication. Whenever you do the multiplication, it 
becomes more easier and clear. Let me just show you. So see, over here we multiplied we got and over here we added so we got. Over here 2 was repeated. But in such a series, wherever 3 is repeated or 3 is in the unit place, you should add 3 to it. So that will give you 6. But if you want the same 2 properties, so you should do like this. 2, sorry, 3 into 2. That will give you 6. Both the answer we got are same. Both the which you can apply, but apply the multiplication way so it gets literally really really clear to us okay now so shall we move for our example so over here the first rule is applied now the second rule you see there it is applied that is subtract the answer we got by repeating from the remaining left side numbers now what answer you got was four Right? In both of them we got was 4. Now, left side numbers are this one. 2 and 4. And these are the remaining numbers as well. And we will take those remaining numbers and subtract this number. That's it. This will be like. And what we get is 20. Now, 24 minus 4 is 20. And the third rule was. Check what we got from subtracting is divided with 7 or not. And over here, I have written the multiplication table. See, 7 is 7, 7 is 14, 7 3 is 21, 7 plus 28. But 20 should lie over here only. No. Nearby 21. Still, I wrote in the 28. But 20 is not. So, it means this is not divisible by 7. So, we can write like this. In case 242 is not divisible by 7. by 7 okay so i hope it was clear to you example one was simply easy let me just tell you once again so here 242 we repeated 2 here and that we got was 4 now over here 24 was remaining number so 24 minus 4 we got to 28 20 was not coming in the table so we can simply say not okay now let's check our next example now let's see our example 2 in the example 2 our number is 391 as you see now in this number i have given you the whole solution see here 391 and repeated the ones please i got 1 into 2 is equals to 2 then I took the remaining left side numbers. I got 39 minus 2. That was 37. And as you see in the multiplication table, I get 35 and directly 42. So it to me, there was no chances that 37 was coming in my multiplication table. So it's not divisible. So I crossed it out. And as I said, 391 is not divisible by 7. I am literally sure that it is not. Okay. Now, let's see our third, fourth, and sixth examples. Let's see on our screen. So, our next example, as you see, is 456. Okay. So, is not divisible. I have written. How I have written? See. Whenever you repeat this digit, 6, you get 6 into 2, that is 12. And 45 minus 12 is 33 is 33 divisible or not not so what we are going to do so we are going to say that 456 is not divisible by 7 that's the easy concept as you see okay let me just zoom the screen first let me zoom it so i have to tell them one fact i wanted to tell i wanted to share this fact just see carefully that whenever we see in repetition concept. Whenever you see any repetition concept, repetition, t 
repetition concept any repetition concept just for its repetition you would have to manage this repetition by doing some things right by doing some things just to do it okay so follow this a repetition steps so you can oh sorry so you can get so whenever it's repetition add same number add same number or third step you can do is that multiply it by two as the simplest and whatever i use in any repetition is the third step that is multiply by again i will show you yes so see over here repetition are of two parts we can take adding the same number okay that's it second feature as i say and the second feature as you see is multiply by two and that's the easiest point as i have said you all so that was the third example now fourth example is let's see on the next slide right this was the last example because if i say the fifth and sixth one you can try those examples so see this one example over here 216 is not divisible this is how i explained it 6 the repeated 6 into 2 12 21 minus 12 is 9 and 9 is not because 14 is the next number that's the easiest so your questions to solve are your questions to solve r 2 they are what if 5 4 5 1 sorry 4 5 1 and 230 but i will give you the answer not divisible by 7 okay i've said it but try doing the divisibility rule of 7 then get it. so let me just so in the story No, you can only see these two features, right? So that two features that you have to do are about these two numbers that are four fifty one and two hundred. So let's take a look at some questions. The bullet figure. Now, first example is one twenty one. How is it written or read? Okay. How Is it divisible by seven or not? You have to check. So see, what we are going to do? Easy, easy steps are there. Just multiply it by two. We get two, and twelve minus two, we get a ten. Is ten divisible? No. So is this divisible? No. Just cross out it. Okay. Three to four, double it. Four into two is equals to eight. Is equals to eight. Thirty-two minus eight is what? So thirty-two minus eight is twenty-four. I solved and solved problems. Okay, in front of me, and twenty-four is divisible. No. Is twenty? Ah, uh, three twenty-four divisible? No. Four one one one. Four one one. Now one if we repeat, we get two. One into two is two, and forty-one into two is. Forty-one minus two is what? So it will um surely be eleven minus two is nine. So it's thirty-nine. Okay, thirty-nine. So here we got thirty-nine is thirty-nine divisible. Literally thirty-five and forty-two. So it's not not five seventy-two. So it will be two into two is four. Fifty-seven minus four. That we get is fifty-three. Is it divisible? Not at all. So 
this were some questions that we solved today now as a summary section i will give you the rule okay so let me just read it out so the visibility rule of seven is double the ones or units please subtract the answer we got by repeating from the remaining left side numbers check check what we got from subtracting is divisible by seven or not and on that list on on that note we have learned the rule okay and as it was literally easy one example you got means all examples you got just the homework i will list for you today so this is your homework that is is two four five hundred and two hundred thirty and divisible by seven or not but the answers are not not but you have to say how they're not okay and that's your homework for today and that's the easiest rule any rule that i am going to teach you from one example you may understand it you may literally recognize it so that's the fact how you have to tell me what the answer to this statement is what's the answer to that really big and huge problem and that's what it comes in our handy visibility rule of seven and it's literally um it's literally good for us to learn this rules um because whenever you get whenever you get these rules right you may know of how much a beginner number maybe you can literally know is it divisible to 3 4 5 6 7 eight, like that okay so that's why we learn the divisibility rule now there is no big issue that if you don't learn you can divide it quickly but still if you want to you can learn this rule that is divisibility rule of seven or divisibility rule of a digit and that makes your concepts clear okay so on this note i guess i should now leave the class so okay then bye bye and do all these words as the homework for today we'll meet you in next session i hope you enjoyed it bye bye